What's it like to watch a football match in a country that doesn't care about football? Let's find out. Yes, Europe is known for being football mad, and that's true. Wikipedia noting it as being the most popular sport in almost all the countries in Europe. Almost being the key word there. All except one or two anomalies, and that's where Lithuania comes into the equation, as their national sport is basketball. A Google of Lithuania and sport returns basketball littered responses, which has left me thinking, does the country have a football culture? And if it does, What's it actually like? Today we're off to watch the country's most successful club, Zalgiris Vilnius, in a Champions League qualifier. Now was usually time where on screen we would show what their fans are like, but a YouTube search of Zalgiris Ultras once again just returns to videos of basketball fans, not football fans. Welcome to Away Days and welcome to Lithuania. 5.41, Stansted Airport. Let's go. Joined by Ed again. Ed's making a video as well. Of his time in Lithuania, so watch that if you want. Probably, probably give it a miss. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. We're gonna miss the flight. Come on. Our flight leaves in 40 minutes. He's proceeded to order granola, and a, the fact that you're eating the sweet thing first has actually filled me with rage. What? Ed is absolutely fuming because he thinks we're gonna miss the flight, but I've explained to him right now, it's just gonna be fine. We're gonna, what is this? What's going on here? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. First sight of Lithuania. Go on. You know what I am skeptical of? Anyone in this city caring about football? Yeah. Wrong uns, really, aren't they? Wrong uns. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's get a taxi. Hello. Here's home for the day or two days. I thought it was a crime scene when we turned up. <laughs> we're off to watch a Champions League. I don't. I've only ever seen one Champions League match in my life. One this Champions be, League match. Oh, yeah. person. Yeah. Just, all right. Okay, yeah. I've never seen any. This is like the extra, extra preliminary round. I hope we hear the music. I hope they do it. We're off to explore Lithuania and hit the town. The context of what he's doing is on his channel. It's just <laughs> I can't. It's just, I can't go be bothered to explain it, I'll be honest. Let's go and get some meat and some beer. Men. I'll tell you what, Lithuania. Oh, this is unreal. Right, we're going to eat this, sink some pints, and paint the town red on a Monday night. I want to try and chat to some locals tonight and yeah. see if they like football. See what they're going to say. So we have a little bit of an update um, from that restaurant. I asked basically the guy who worked in the restaurant if he liked football. He said, yes, I do. And I said about Jalgris, and he said, that's a basketball team. I've never heard of the football team. And he likes football. Are you sure we're going to watch football tomorrow? Could you imagine? <laughs> Sort of ruined the whole thing is with him in this outfit, that is. What? <laughs> I'm just saying your outfit looks really nice and doesn't ruin the night at all. So we came to another place to get a drink quickly before, you know, we try and find what people think of Zag Jagrish. Head gone apple spritz, look at the size of it, normal sized. Lovely. I asked for one beer. It came in what can only be described as. I mean, just a look bucket. at it. It's, it's a two hander, it's mental. It's a two man job. <laughs> <laughs> that is ridiculous. Should I attempt to down it for the video? <laughs> Should we see That's what happens? Go all down here. Should we see what happens? Oh, smash that! <laughs> yeah, loud. Yeah, Frank Loud's there. That's not very nice. That's surprising, isn't it? <laughs> I just want to say, like, by the way, whatever the football culture is like here, which we're going to find out very soon in the video for those of you wondering, it's a beautiful city and it's very chilled. I hope there's ultras. Oh yeah, there'll be ultras. 20 past nine on a Monday in Lithuania, we've ordered straight vodka shots. Yeah. I hate vodka. It sounds like a bad idea really, doesn't it? It's not in the thing about it. That could be the end of the night for me. Cheers. <laughs> I will genuinely try and down this one. You're not, you're not going to down all of that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> you didn't even have anything, look. It's still full. <laughs> that's <laughs> pathetic. There's still my old setup here, by the way. Oh, it's really? fine now. That's your turf on the wall, is it? Football shirt on the wall, is it? People say there's no football culture here. He's wearing, he's holding a football. And it also says Neil Cole Holliness. Does it mean football craziness? Probably not. Last pint of the night. 
Tomorrow. For you, maybe. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, we discover what you Lithuanian football culture actually like. Spoiler alert so far, it's been very basketball heavy. It has. It's a very much a country that no one knows anything about football. No. They look at you blank when you mention it. Between that apple spritz. Oh. Fruity. People call me fruity in the comment section. Of the It's not been a fun morning. He's, he's chirpy. <laughs> Just be throwing up all morning. Oh, pathetic. Pathetic. <laughs> pathetic. One beer. Whatever happens to the football today, Lithuania is easily one of the most beautiful, quiet, calm places I've ever visited. It's just so relaxed and chilled. So chilled, isn't it? Pretty good to the life. Yeah. Hopefully they like football. Well, I don't think I've seen anyone in a football shirt. And we've been here um, two days now. Yeah, nobody. No football shirt. We are less than a mile from the stadium, not a flag. I reckon this is the official route all the supporters come through. This like a little it. march. Yeah, this is the one. All 12 of us. It's just spotted something in the distance. Floodlights, that's a good sign. Yes. Something anyway, we can grasp hold of that, even though we've clearly got some work going on here. Yeah, I don't know. in the middle of our housing estate, look. The housing estate. There's it's a, a Champions League fight. match on in like two and a half hours. Yeah. Just three minutes there. from here. The route to the stadium is trying to take us through here. It's a building site, isn't it? What's going on? We're going that way, we're going that way, we're going Oh, that we've way. got we've got three hours. We'll hit we'll go to the distance, but listen, listen, just stand still, you hear the fans chanting. Let's head that way. I believe we're here. You ready for the grand reveal? Oh, what a stadium. There it is. More. We need to go and ask if we can actually buy tickets for the game. So that was harder than I thought it would be in terms of like 4,000 out of 5,000 people are going to be here today. That's quite good, really. Interesting to see what the atmosphere is going to be like. We're still yet to see a fan. But I think we should go get some pre-match food and then we're going to get right in amongst it. Maybe get a shirt, hopefully, if they sell them. Come on, let's get some food. I need some after I spent all of last night bringing it back up. It's always good to try the local cuisine. It's the only thing that was here that was usable. Not usable, but just close by. We're so cultured. What's happened in this McDonald's toilet that requires everything to be UV lighted? What are people doing in here? What are people doing in here? And there's a ticket. There's a stadium. Let's Come on then. Come on, Jagresh. There might be football culture here just yet. They've got ultra stickers. Come on. Here we are inside Zagreb FC, also Lithuania's national football stadium. It's all right, isn't it? This is nice. Coach stand, we've got some drinks, snacks. AstroTurf pitch, kids will have a kickabout. See what you can buy. Some like potato wedges, some sausage things, some crisps, some Pringles. I also like the fact that our, we have access to go anywhere we want to sit in the stadium, which is quite nice. The thing that I adore about this channel is like, I would never have came to Lithuania if it wasn't for this reason to come watch football. Like, we're just able to do it. Like, it's, it's mental, it's always going to be mental. Here we go, Ed. Little match. This is different, isn't it? <laughs> Death overs. Oh, he's still got it. He's still got it. Three nil. Yeah, it's, him in. it's not for me, really, is it? This game. We need to go and get a shirt or something. Because mm -hmm. where else? You're never going to find another item from this club anywhere else in the world. It's rare. Been sitting in the queue for the shirts for about 40 minutes. Um, their machine isn't working. To we haven't moved. And the problem is, we're probably going to get to front and not want to buy anything anyway. Yeah. There we go. 18 euros for a scarf. Bargain. Oh, by the way, he's wearing a cap as model. Some of that was cheaper. 11. 45 minutes to kick off, sat down. What are your first thoughts on the stadium? I think it looks quite nice, actually. I was expecting something less nice than this on, on the scale of niceness. I was expecting it to be less. But it's actually all right. Scale of niceness. Yeah. Also, a couple of um, people actually came up to me and said they watched the videos, which is mental. In Lithuania, legends. As I said, today is a Champions League qualifying match. You've got the champions of Macedonia taking on the champions of Lithuania today in their dreams of getting to the Champions League group stage. Aww. We have a contender for the most terrifying mascot I've ever seen. Oh my god, that is insanity. You better wave. Do you have a wave? Come on, there we go. Like, good to see, good to see. Boo, Chelsea, boo. Might be worth knowing, kickoffs in 10 minutes and half the people here are just stood in there. Very relaxed. There's a really big plot twist here. Someone's stuck in the toilet. They've got themselves locked in the toilet. And you're in banging in the distance. Oh, he's kicked his way out. Yeah. Got 
Typho. This is laughing in the face of the narrative that there is no football fans over here. Even in a country where football isn't the main sport, you still get people really passionate about it. It's very cool to see. Here come the players. Do we get the Champions League music? That's the question. Do we get Champions League music? The answer is... No, we don't. No Champions League music. Oh. That's all we're cool for. Good news is the game's underway. The bad news is our seats are currently... We really should be listening to this restricted view, because we actually were supposed to sit there, and our legs would be in the way of everyone, and we'd have that in the way. But also there is just everyone walking past us, so... Not ideal, not, not, not And if someone's in our seat, I'm sorry, you had, you had, you've, you've, had, you've had your time at this point. I will move, obviously, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm aware we like, but we're not even with the ultras or whatever. I actually wanted to be from afar and then maybe second half we'll move into the ultras, but there is a chance right here that we actually don't watch any of this first half. And at half time, they all then come back out and then the same thing happens second half. It's a good view, I like it. Yeah. Everyone we spoke to yesterday had no idea that this city had a football team and they thought the team I was talking about was a basketball team. How can that be the case when like this many people are passionate about it? Bear in mind that like, the only people chanting really are the, the 100 ultras over there, but still, like, they're that passionate about something that a lot of people don't even know exists. Oh, they're about to score now. No, they're not. Someone, someone else I want to buy you and knock that back. Go on, here we go. Chest control, please. The guy has actually kept the ball. The guy the ball landed to has just put it in his puffer coat and kept it, and the security guard is just allowing it to happen. Go on, then. Nah, mate, you, you just stand there, that's right. Oh. Yeah, you just, uh, no problems. Didn't want to watch, the, yeah, it's fine, guys. You keep coming in 35 minutes into the game. You keep walking past, that's nice. Yeah, you can just go you. back there, you may as well. You'll be back here in a minute. It is worth noticing there has been quite a few periods of pure silence. Just like, listen right now. Of course. It's not the worst I've ever seen. Barnet fans, if you're watching, it's you. Lovely little half-time rainbow there in the sprinkler. Lovely to see. In terms of the first half, Second half can only be better. It's what you'd expect it to be. We've switched ends. Come on, we'll actually be able to see the game now, which is always nice. Come on, here's the goal. Here we go. No doubt in my mind that this goes in. Oh my. Oh, we hit the guy in the chest. Getting close, come on. Oh no. Oh no. They're both equally injured. Also, at half time, sorry to take away from their pain, they were watering the pitch. It does beg the question does AstroTurf need watering? This game needs some injection into it of life because it is. Woeful. Aware in the context of quite a boring game, it would be hard to be easy to forget. This scarf was 18 euros. And I will never look at it again when I'm home. Oh. It's about time he scored. Do him. Done him. He's done him. Come on, let's lift this up now. Oh. What match I've ever been to? Not bad. <laughs> it just starts having to stand up. This is nice. 
It's the 88th minute, by the way. Just in case anyone was wondering. Just whip it in. Every every opportunity they get is like get it out wide, whip it in the box every time. It's like watching um National League South. Draw then. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh my God, he's missed Ed. He's missed Ed. He's missed. Now it's all kicking off. Hello, say. Oh. What's happening here? Totally out of control and out of order, it really is. I paid good money for that. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. You paid good money for that, yeah, good, yeah. good. <laughs> Here it is, last chance of the game. Launch it into the box, into the mixing pot. It's now or never. We want it! We want it! We want it! We want it! So we came to a country that isn't predominantly into football. My thoughts are, fans are actually alright. There is definitely a football culture here. Bear in mind when you watch this and you judge it and take it in, this is the capital city of the country where the biggest club in the country is as well. Standard of the pitch wasn't great, which is what we expected as well. I didn't expect it to be quite that bad. I would like to have seen a goal, but it's, it's a great country. Lithuania is a, a lovely country. Everything's great. The people are great. Maybe we need the football to improve a bit. Subscribe for more away days and more football show content. Ciao, ciao. Bye.